long time we are vlogging. Um, we are here on the Shropshire Hills today and we are doing the Carting Mill Valley. There's a couple of hikes up here, we're doing one of them. Uh, it's quite a rainy day today. Uh, it didn't say it's going to be just cloudy, but it's been uh, drizzling all morning long, so hope well, it gets better. Another thing to keep in mind is we're doing the, the longest hike that there is here, according to the National Trust website. So we're doing a rattling hill hope. Rattling hill? Rattling hill, something along those lines. Um, we're taking a walk, uh, we're taking that walk which is about six to eight hours long and uh, covers about 16 kilometers. So um, the time now is uh, a little after 10. So uh, the sunset today is uh, at 6.15, 6.30. So uh, we need to finish this before then. That is going to be quite the challenge so we can't um, spend a lot of time just like taking pictures <laughs> but it should be fine. already a little bit lost um, they said to follow the steps keeping left and there were like a lot of different parts I'm just going to guess this is the one that we have to go by it looks like it looks pretty rough Hard. looks pretty rough um, and I'm not sure but then there you see in the lamppost it says it's the Shropshire way and um, I've got a map it says we'll be eventually joining it yeah it's a pretty rough path it's kind of really hard to keep climbing up but yeah we've got like little tree branches to hold it on to bad choice but yeah the scene here is quite beautiful so that's good one, one thing good I'm much more confident about the path now a little more much more is a strong word a little more confident so it says we are going to um, curve around the hill and then it's going to slowly take us to this uh, parking car park parking spot but yeah I'm already sweating and it's been like hardly any time yeah I think the rain did us the most harm today it's quite slippery and you see quite how do you say uh, sludgy mushy but yeah you get the feel so it's harder to climb down from here there you go I almost slipped but yeah I mean during summer you've got until like 8 in the night I mean even if you get lost it's not a big deal then um, but during this time period it's like you've got until like 6 30 to complete your walk but the problem is it seems long but you've got a lot of uh, showers as well rains up uh, so to find like the perfect winter to actually complete a hike it's uh the window is very small so that's the crazy part but apparently we should be having a pretty cloudy no showers day for the rest until until six at least which is good 
that's all we need. <laughs> it's a pretty long walk as well, so we need that safe space to complete the walk without being deterred anymore. But yeah. Um, you won't even believe what I found now. I was just walking and I don't know what that is, but it's quite scary. I'm trying to. Can you check that? Can you see that? Like right up there. Looks like a skull. I'll show you. So, right up there, just sitting there. Looks like a skull. Look at that. There's teeth and stuff. It's such a weird place. To put a that's kind of scary. I don't know, I'm not sure what I'm doing anymore. Oh, that's uh, that's scary. Let's just keep walking. It's like broken off. So we just like climbing around the broken tree now it's quite hard because there's no way to do that there's like footprints all over this place which means other humans have did this as well which is great um, yeah I don't think I can walk all this way I'm going to try sliding down or something I don't know if you can even see the way I'm walking. So we walked around the fallen tree now. According to Google Maps, we are right on the right path. But uh, check that out. Not really sure how I'm going to get past. Um, well, this seems to be the way. I feel at some point I'm just guessing the way. But this looks like the way. I think it's because it's so long. Not many people do this walk. It's like 16 kilometer. Eight hours. So yeah, makes sense. Why sane people wouldn't do it? Hmm. Let me check Google again. Okay, I did fall down. I just slid all the way from there, all the way down here. Uh, yeah, but managed to get up and we faced another problem now there's another tree um, falling down over here which blocks our path but then all the yellow arrows point towards another village down I think but there's no way to get there which is which is all, all the weird part about this hiking it's sort of like a rush as well which is why I do this but I'll show you um, see those yellow arrows right there all of them are pointing down to there's a small um, village I think there's, but there's no way we can get there unless we start climbing up and even then I don't know whether there's a way to reach over there I'm very tempted to just like jump I don't know if you can see through the tree, uh, tree. you can actually Jump across, I feel. Um, jumping across is the worst part. There. Mm -hmm. there you go. That's our golden sign. There's no way to go there, so the only thing is you have to either try jumping this and go straight down. Oh, that is the safest thing that I can actually think of right now, and scariest as well because it's. Um, those barbed wires 
So jumping across that won't be easy, but uh, this is the only way. Let's try this. It's already past 11, so we need to hurry up. <laughs> See you on the other side then. All right, we are on the other side. We managed to jump um, across that. Okay, it's a muddy slope again. I need things to hold on to. So we're going to keep sticking to the left and hold on to these hoping that it would be able to catch my weight and it's bobbed wires as well so it's much more trickier my whole dry, um pans are dirty my car goes it's it's, it's done um Um, my bag is also completely gone and um, my phone um, I got it safe um, if not I would have like a proper meltdown over there I feel but then again it won't be the first time I have um, done that with a phone can you see the slope down I don't know if you can see it it's just like straight down and I have no idea how they expect people to kind of like walk it's just like that yeah all right I'm just gonna close this I'm going to try walking all the way down without falling anymore there seems to be a road there and um, I'll talk to you once I'm on the paved road okay um, we walk down uh, it's so tricky man it was so tricky um i kind of like did a self-fashioned walking support stick as well because um there was no way you'll you should check out my shoes i mean this is not for uh, people who want to say um we cannot get dirty because i'm completely dirty right now if you see my shoe you would uh, my walking boots you could cry. I mean, I could cry at this point. And my car goes like... Um, I don't know how to show you. Nah, do this. Check out the hand. It gets that dirty. Like, my hands are dirty. Um, my dress is dirty. Um, everything is basically dirty, so... But it's fun. It's, it's, it's a rush. It's a good thing. I like it. Okay. Let me check things out now anyway. So we're in some sort of residential area. Um yeah, so we are in some sort of residential area. There seems to be a road down there. I'm not even sure what village this is. So yeah. Okay, cool. This is just an update. So um we were completely off path there. So I kind of like came down the hill to the main road now um Ludlow road and um I'm going to try walking back to church straighten now um uh, this is a bummer but we'll be doing um calling mill valley again the exact same walking path today i guess uh, we'll just go back to church straighten need to clean up my shoes because i don't think um any car or taxi would take me with my current condition of like bladings just like it's really dirty because i did fall like a couple of times it was like super slippery so <sighs> it's been fun all right so we are winding up um today's walk right here i'm at the railway station now um we are going back to Telford. Probably come back to do the, um, the actual walk. Probably sometime next week. 